Today, the 2023 New Mexico legislative session ended, and after 60 days of lawmaking, both Democrats and Republicans passed more than 200 bills. But it is now up to New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham to decide what she will sign and what will get vetoed. Julian Paras with our news partner, Action 7 News, reports in Albuquerque from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. This legislative session has been a long one. We've talked about everything from CYFD to gun bills, but the governor says this is a legislative session everyone should be proud of. Earlier today, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham highlighted education and health care. She says lawmakers worked tirelessly to improve the well-being of children and families across the state. Grisham did say she understands there may be frustration among lawmakers due to some bills not getting through, like bills regarding CYFD or gun control. Take a listen. I'm motivated. I am very motivated to find additional ways to make sure that we really do everything in our power that makes our communities uh, and cities and our state safer. I caught up with other lawmakers on bills that did not get passed as well. Specifically, House Bill 11, which would aid oversight to CYFD, is something Senator Greg Baca wished could have passed. I think people have different ideas of how to fix the problem. We presented ours this, this session. Um, uh, the particulars were never debated on the floor, so unfortunately um, we won't hear what um, the hesitation was. And again, that was Julian Pata from our Action 7 News Partners.